Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Catherine and today is the first day of 50 hours in 30 days challenge that I am running in June and yeah, I wasn't really productive today because I was working all day long and the kids were just nuts and I am tired and I have a slight headache right now and to be honest, I only did Italian for 20 minutes today. I did 5 minutes of drops and 15 minutes of learn Italian with Luc Lucrezia on YouTube and that's it. And now I really want to take a bow bath and I would love to read but I know, like I know I should read the Hatrivar in Spanish but I kind of want to read the book that I'm currently reading in English so I don't know. Because, like, Spanish, if I read in Spanish, it's gonna be so much brain work, but I just don't think I am up for brain work right now, so... I know it's not the best first day of the challenge, but I am pretty sure I will catch up. I promise. Good morning! It is Friday, day 3 of my 50 hours in 30 days challenge, and by the end of today, I am supposed to have 300 hours... Why 300 hours? 300 minutes of language learning and so far in these three days I've done less than one hour it's it's insane it's just horrible I worked yesterday as well and I did not do anything yesterday so by the end of today I should have five hours of language learning I don't know how I'm gonna do that because today I have to bring my brother to the doctor in about four hours we need to be there and then um, I also have a presentation at uni I was actually supposed to go to uni today but I didn't because of the doctor and then at the in the evening I actually have like a picnic at my work with colleagues we're gonna go to this like chill place, park kind of thing, and have a picnic, and I don't know how I'm gonna do that. So basically, I, we need to start getting ready in about three and a half hours, so I plan on spending these three and a half hours doing various language activities, like reading the book, and then listening to podcasts while I do things around the house, I need to clean my room, I need to just do some plant chores and various different activities, and... I'm also going to probably watch something and maybe like study something like three and a half hours is a good amount of time. I know I wouldn't be able to do all of it, but yeah, let's go. Let's go read for half an hour. <laughs> is wrong with me like i started reading this book and i was i didn't understand a ton and now i just don't understand anything. so i just spent 60 minutes doing um cleaning my room doing things around the house and uh, i listened to a podcast episode of audio lentina which is a podcast in lithuanian about audiobooks and like it's interviews with different people and it was really really fun and i really enjoyed it it was about a writer who writes books for children and he was reading one of his childhood um poems that he wrote to his stepsister and it was just like so fun and yeah, I specifically chose an episode that was 60 minutes so that, you know, I could get that one hour out of the way. And so then I listened to 10 minutes of Spanish. It was on YouTube, but it's like conversations in Spanish. So you just like listen. Um, honestly, it's really difficult and I need to get back into Spanish because like my Spanish in these past couple of months has like gone downhill and... Yeah, I just don't know what to do. I'm, I'm like really, really scared that my Spanish has gone back to like A, A1. I don't know, like obviously it's not, but like it's it's really intimidating. And um, yeah, right now I'm a little bit tired of all of the information that's just been put into my head. And so I think I will just relax for a little bit. And I actually need to do a presentation for today. I, I have a class later today that I have to present some things and I don't have the presentation yet. Um, so I need to do that before I bring my brother to the doctor. So there's a bunch to do. And so today I've actually done 100 minutes of language learning. I know I need to do some extra 
for yesterday and the day before to catch up but even if i don't do anything at least i have those 100 minutes for today so yeah i'll just relax for a little bit and when i have something to update you on i will it is saturday and to be honest i haven't done much today i've only done 15 minutes of lithuanian i watched a vlog about vietnam and yeah that's it and honestly i just feel like absolute crap today because yesterday in the picnic i think i ate something bad like maybe meat or something because when i came back my head started to hurt so bad and on the way back i almost threw up in the car and yeah I just feel so bad and this morning I really really feel like I have food poisoning or something and I actually also had like an event at church for the kids for the end of the school year and and, and like it was fun but if I felt myself a little bit better it would be awesome but like you know just like my head hurts so bad and like ugh. I just don't know and I think that I'm not gonna do anything today like a lot I haven't read my book yet and I think I'm just gonna watch a movie in Lithuanian probably or maybe Spanish or I still need to finish a movie that I started watching it's called Without Saying Goodbye it's about Peru and I I think it should be translated in Spanish so I might watch that as well or like maybe I'll just watch an old movie that I love and just like turn it on in Lithuanian. Hello guys, it is Friday, June 10th, we are one third through the challenge and I just wanted to give you an update because at the beginning of June I thought I'm gonna be working a lot less, so basically I was supposed to work two days a week and then the next week I would work three days a week, but instead I worked three days a week and now I worked four days a week, which is like crazy and I I was tired and I wasn't doing much and I was planning on having a vlog the first couple days like I think it would be the first four four days or five days of June and then this week and I would have two separate vlogs but uh, here we are I have not vlogged in the past almost a week I think and yeah there will be like an entire big video up until June 12th you will see it uh, in a couple days and yeah I I haven't done much I think I only have about 560 ish minutes of language learning this month I should have 1000 minutes by the end of today and I actually I don't think I think I showed you that I watched the Hunger Games in Lithuanian and then throughout the week I also watched Catching Fire and now I am in the middle of the first uh, the first part of Mockingjay. I just I just love Hunger Games so much and going back and watching the movies again it's just like such a great feeling and I actually just had a class and I'm also gonna like video call with my group friends we have a like last assignment of the year next Friday so we have to call today so that you know and then after that right after that I am gonna finish watching Mockingjay part one and then i also really really want to go back to the traditional way of studying i don't think i have done anything uh this month and by traditional i mean sitting down at my desk and studying from a textbook from like whatever resource i just really really miss that and so yeah i i am just excited right it is saturday now and yesterday i did watch both uh parts of mockingjay and i just loved it so much it was such a great time and yeah i was pretty tired after that but that's okay but for this weekend i would love to catch up on my challenge so i'm 300 minutes behind but um because of the like 
today and tomorrow i also have to do 100 minutes it adds up to 500 minutes in two days which is about four hours a day so i plan on cleaning my room a little bit and i'm gonna be listening to the to a podcast maybe in spanish or italian because i haven't done a lot of that i've done a lot of listening and yeah like listening practice in lithuanian this month i've i have i think i'm up around 11 hours with lithuanian but with Italian, I only did 30 minutes of drops and a podcast, I think. And so I would love to do something with Italian. I'd also love to work on my textbook later and then also read a little bit in Spanish. So, yeah, I don't know. I think it's unrealistic, to be honest, to catch up on this challenge already. But we can try. We can we can try. It's now 3 p.m. and so far I've only managed to get 60 minutes in instead of 250, which is horrible. I'll probably have to watch a movie or a TV show or something, but right now I want to set a timer for one hour and work on my textbook finally. I have not done that in probably a month and so I just really need to get through this textbook. So let's get smashing. So I started looking at when was the last time I worked on my textbook and it was 19th of April, which is almost two months ago, which is absolutely horrendous. <laughs> I just did one hour of Italian, I did 40 minutes of textbook, and then I kind of got over it. I got to chapter 10 and decided to, like, uh, started some other day, and then I did 20 minutes of memorize, and I think I haven't done memorize in ages because when I was doing it uh, the last time, it felt really, really forced, and it felt like I'm a little bit over memorized, but now I think I'm getting back, and I just spend those 20 minutes reviewing what I've learned because I have so many words to review there, like, you know, um, and to remember because I haven't done much with I haven't done much in Italian for the past two-ish months and I just need to get back and I need to like do you know you know um and so I am currently 179 minutes behind and that is three hours almost and tomorrow I will be 279 minutes behind if I if I don't do anything. So I think my best option today is to actually watch a movie as much as I don't want to do that, but I think it's my best option and I might watch something in Spanish, but most likely it's just gonna be something in Lithuanian to be honest. I don't know, I really don't know. All I wanna do is watch travel vlogs, but not in Spanish, not in Italian, because I don't understand them as well as English, obviously. So yeah, like I really don't know. In order to catch up with my challenge, I need to do 280 minutes today, and actually yesterday I really wanted to watch a movie. I wanted to watch 80 Days Around the World, but not the regular one. I was just like looking at movies in Lithuanian that are available, and there was this uh, cartoon animation, and it looks super, super cute, so I, I really hope I can watch it today, because yesterday my internet just didn't work, and... Yeah, that's okay. I will watch that later, but I'm like really, really excited. I, I I love animation movies. So, but other than that, I have no, I literally have no idea what should I do. So I ended up watching Around the World in 80 Days. It was really short, but really, really cute movie. I highly, highly recommend it, especially if you have kids. It's really interesting and enjoyable. Yeah, as I said, it was only 70 minutes, so I still need to do about 30 minutes of language learning to catch up to do like um, today's worth of language learning. However, my stomach is a little bit upset, so I don't know if I'll just 
if I'll do anything or if I'll just end up uh, spending the time uh, reading above all else. And so yeah, I highly appreciate you being here and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and I will see you very soon. Bye!